G'day everyone. Between the rain on the roof and my neighbour running an air compressor, I think the audio is going to be pretty bad in this video. But anyway, I'm going to give it a crack. I'm going to keep this video short and punchy, and I'm going to teach you how to light an MSR Whisperlight International Shellite Stove. Right now, if you've just bought one of these, in the bag you'll find these things, that thing, and that thing. Well, actually, that's not there, that comes separate, sorry. In this black bag, you'll find a repair kit, these things, and that thing. These things you don't need, but they're good if you want them. They are wind protectors, so you can set up a wind shelter around your burner if you're out in the field. One of them is a heat deflector, it lays flat on the ground and you set that up on the heat deflector and this one goes around it just to help keep all the heat stored in and make it more efficient but they, you don't need them so for the purpose of this video they're out. In here I've got shallite. The Americans call shallite white gas or you know we, they call petrol gas and they call shallite white gas because shallite is pretty much the same thing as unleaded petrol. Very, very similar, equally as flammable. So you've got to be very careful. And over here, we've got the stove and we've got the pump. The pump, the stove and the bottle. Right, let's sit this down here. This is the pump. If you look at that, you will see that it pumps. That's pumping air out of this white straw just here. So I've got to put all of that into the bottle. So I've got to put the straw in and the pump in like that and screw it all in. The whole lot goes in. Right, that's ready to go. Now you make sure that's a pretty ordinary lighting just here because the background's so bright. We've got to make sure that this is the nozzle, the tap just here. We've got to make sure that's off before we plug it in. Right here, now it's time to plug the stove into the fuel bottle. And you'll see up here this little hole. This jet on the nozzle on the fuel line here just goes straight into that uh, into that hole. That just pushes all the way in like that, and that clips over to lock in. This bit here actually locks into this groove and I want to put a lot of emphasis on this part because this is the part that I struggle with the most trying to work out how to get it to work. So yeah, I'll unclip it. You want to line it up like that so that that goes over the top. If you can do it sideways it won't clip in. It took me a long time to get a system where I could get this right every time. So it goes in like that and that clips over the top. And the best way to remember is that on this uh, little square part here, there's a little knob. If that faces up the same as the tap, that's the right direction. Right, we're hooked up and ready to go. Rightio, now, on the stove, the serrated edges are the top. They're the bits that hold the pot up, so it goes that way. And what you've got to do, you just simply fold that around like that, and there it is. That's in place. So it's quite easy to put together. That's the stove in place, ready to go. Now what we've got to do is pump it and light it. What I'll do, I'll bring that a bit closer, and I'll start pumping. The best thing to do is make sure the tap's off. Give it about 20 or so pumps. What happens, that little white straw that you saw, what that's doing, that's pumping air into the bottle. And the more air that's in the bottle, the more pressure there is to try and push the fuel out. That should be plenty. You've got to always make sure that you've got no shallite spilt anywhere, not on the table, not on the not on your fingers, not on the fuel bottle, because shallite is very, very flammable. Now I've got it plugged in, I've got the uh, I've got it plugged in. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that on a little bit, and what will happen, a little bit of fuel will fill up down here in the bottom. This is called the primer cup. Once that's got a bit of fuel in it, I light that and it just burns like a fire lighter. And what it does, if you see here, you'll see this copper pipe that runs through the stove. That runs up from, that runs up from under there, and it runs up through the stove. I'm trying to focus on it. 
that runs up from under there and through the stove. What happens when this primer cup down here is full of, pe of petrol and burn, or shallite and burning, what it does, it actually heats up. It heats up that copper pipe until it gets to the point where the copper pipe is so hot that as the shallite passes out of here and through the copper, it evaporates and turns to a gas. So your, this stove essentially turns shallite, a liquid fuel, into a gas and it makes it a gas stove. Right, let's uh, get a little bit of fuel in there and get it going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, there's me fuel. There's a, you want about half a teaspoon or so. It's very flammable, this stuff. There it goes. You see that? And that is burning. Now yeah, that'll burn like that for that'll burn like that for a uh, a minute or so, if that. And that is what it's supposed to do. So when I first bought this, I thought I had to light the stove, but I was so wrong. You light the uh, the primer cup underneath. So now we're just waiting for that to start burning, waiting for that flame to heat up that copper pipe. So when you light your stove, if it looks like that, if it looks like you're doing it all wrong and it's burning, it probably means you're doing it all right. At the moment, my fuel is turned off. I won't turn my fuel off until this flame dies right down, which is starting to now, and I can see like a little blue flame coming from around there, so I reckon it's nearly right to go. Here we go. There's still a bit of, there's a fuel and gas combination, you can hear it. There we go. It's all gas now, the fuel's... That means the copper pipe is now hot enough to evaporate the petrol. Now what happens now, after that's been burning for a minute or two, the cut around the burner actually turns red, it glows red with heat. It's already starting to glow, glow red over the other side underneath the copper pipe. You be curious, Jeff. You'll notice also it doesn't sit on a very flat angle. It lifts up on a slight angle. That's perfectly fine and that's normal. That's just because of the, uh, the cord, the heavy construction of the cord. As soon as you put a pot on there, it'll sit nice and flat. Well, folks, there you go. That is going like a ripper. That is in full operation. Put a pot of water on there and it will boil in no time. Right, now I'm going to turn this off now. One thing to be mindful of with the shallowite stove is that when you turn it off, it doesn't go off automatically. It'll simmer for a couple of minutes. It'll take a minute or two to burn out all the fuel in the line. Right, yeah, folks, hopefully the audio is not too bad. This video is just a short, punchy video on how to uh, how to light or how to use the MSR Whisperlite International Stove. Nothing fancy. They're a great stove. I don't recommend them for children. I think they're a little bit dangerous because shallite has a very is very very flammable. It's explosive, just like petrol. If you want to buy a stove for your kids, I think something like a Trangier is better. But shallite has a lot of benefits, which I'll go into in another video one day. It lasts a lot longer. It burns a lot hotter, and it'll burn a lot longer. And uh, it's great fun to use. These are a great hiking stove, and they're very very popular. I hope this has helped you learn how to light your shallite stove. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video. Why not give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. What are you doing?